what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so i'm talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today small updates well some sm some are small to me going over scream 7 we'll be talking about terrifier 3 we'll be talking about ma 2 which still has not yet been greenlit but we'll be talking about it and we'll be talking about nightmare on elm street and some ideas that robert england has expressed at the end of may that i completely missed about how he would approach a reboot or how he thinks it could be rebooted the series that being just to start off with scream 7 melissa barrera had this to say when discussing scream 7 scream 7 and the future of the series with enemy magazine uh she said that it would be great to see where sam's stories sam's story goes there's so many places it could go and i'm excited to see that i don't want to say yes or no to a scream 7 movie although it feels as long as people want scream movies they'll continue to exist basically she's simply acknowledging the reality that seems to fly over a lot of people's heads if you keep paying to see these movies the likelihood of the series indefinitely being over is very slim chances are scream 7 won't be the last of the series but rather it'll be the last of the series as we know it or as we've known it since 2022 similar to how similar to how scream 3 was the end of an era as well although that was intended to conclude the franchise altogether as we all know she most likely didn't say yes or no to scream 7 for the same reasons guy didn't say yes about it during we watched the movies interview because of some ndas that might be in place but everything based on how we interpret it is pointing at scream 7 happening and we just have to be a little bit more patient and wait for that news to come out everything is literally pointing towards that we've had hints from the mtv awards when ghostface was except when they had a little promo package of ghostface accepting the award we've had stuff on tiktok that people have assumed are clues or hints that scream 7 is coming when ghostface was doing the asmr and put out the stab 3 uh the stab three set card i can't think of it at, at at the time of this i can't think of what you call those and we've also had some stuff related to other people's comments in the past about not just talking about the franchise in the future but we've had people come out and say that it's been greenlit who are usually reliable sources but we'll have to wait and see jumping into terrifier 3 variety reported today that cineverse corp announced that it has secured north american rights to the slasher sequel terrifier 3 from series writer and director damien leon and producer phil falcone now the film is scheduled to have a wide theatrical release next year in north america followed by its executive debut on cineverse's streaming service screenbox damien leon had this to say about the upcoming uh project once I figured out what part two was, I knew it was going to be at least a trilogy. So I've been working on this since I completed part two. Even while I was writing part two, I actually had scenes that I'd already written for part three because I knew where it was going to go. I want to shift back a bit to the tone of part one, which I felt was a little more simplistic and old school gritty slasher i want this one to go back in that direction and i want this to be the scariest one of the trilogy this one will actually have a little bit more of an evil overtone to it so this is going to be hopefully the scariest and the darkest i want it to feel as if the audience coming into this one isn't as comfortable with arthur clown as they feel they are now i want to see if i can make them really scared of him again if we can somehow balance that creep factor from the original with a superior characterization in two me personally i think that terrifier 3 should work if it's able to find that balance are you excited about the shift leon wants to take with terrifier 3 or do you hope it's more of a balance between one and two the way i do because personally terrifier 2 it was a step in the right direction due to the better characterization sure you could argue that maybe art the clown wasn't as scary but he was still scary sure in the original movie i definitely was a lot more creeped out by the stalking aspect of how we approached the two who we thought would be final girls that we would spend the movie with which ultimately that was one of the biggest twists in the movie that they both died very early on the stalking approach in the first movie was great we can bring some of that back in terrifier 3 but i don't want to abandon the great characterization that happened in 2 but thankfully we know that sienna will be back lauren lavera is expected to lavar is expected to revive her character in the upcoming uh sequel so we'll just have to wait and see if they can definitely find that balance for terrifier 3 and not be a complete shift to terrify 1 because i know a lot of people have already been turned off by these comments now jumping into ma 2 melissa mccarthy recently expressed interest in teaming with octavia spencer from ma 2 during an interview with entertainment weekly and she gushed over their long friendship slightly i think they've been friends for nearly 30 years she said she said i would do anything with octavia for octavia in the ballpark of octavia if there's a picture of octavia in the background at one point in the script i would do anything for that glorious woman 
Now, Ma 2 has not yet been made official, but I believe Tate Taylor, I believe is the director's name, had an idea that was shared back in 2021 saying that my idea is that she's moved to another town and she has open houses in another city and kills people in the open house. Yeah, she or this person told Entertainment Weekly this back in 2021. I think she'd be a real estate agent in the Pacific Nor Northwest and just murder white people looking at McMansions. That's as far as I've gotten. Now, I personally think that Ma was not the most amazing film ever. And I recall actually finding it to be quite disappointing, but it also just wasn't the like the most terrible film i've ever seen so if mccarthy is down to tag along as an ally of sorts for ma's shenanigans i'd like to see that come to life but you guys let me know if you still are holding out hope for a sequel to ma down in the comment section below i really don't care one way or another i just thought it was very interesting that melissa mccarthy said she would love to be a part of that project if she's getting to team up with octavia spencer now robert england told comic book Back at the end of May, two different ways Nightmare on Elm Street could be revived. He said, I certainly think that they should reboot a Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Warriors because three has a previously on Nightmare on Elm Street sense to it and it reunites everybody and it's the fan favorite. England shared this with comic book on how he could see the franchise being revived. I think if you took a poll or a vote, you'd find that more people like Dream Warriors than any other film. And it's a good script. The original script for that is terrific. And if you look at who wrote it, those people have Oscars now. I haven't fact checked that, but if that's true, then maybe he has a point. And then I would love to do a cameo in it. But yeah, it's hard. I mean, I would love to see a sensitive contemporary director, independent spirit award winning director or somebody reboot Nightmare on Elm Street 2 Freddy's Revenge and really explore Freddy's manipulation of the boy in that and the boy's burgeoning bisexuality. I think today we could do that. We could deal with that and what's going on there and play with the psycholo psychology of it and freddie's manipulation of that and really make that heroic i think that would be interesting to do i think we're ready for that honestly the talk the words here when i'm reading this i'm like does he know more than he's letting on and maybe the approach we're about to get for the inevitable next entry in friday or nightmare on elm street is going to be a film that kind of blends the the things that people love about dream warriors and freddy's revenge could we see that and i don't think he's completely wrong either when he says that taking a dream warriors approach as a way to revive nightmare on elm street would be the worst thing i think it actually could end up being the best thing doing something in the same vein of dream warriors obviously a whole new set of characters but they've all been sent to smith's grove because they've been having these dreams about the dream demon freddy krueger and you could take the story from there and it of course can be an homage to the original dream warriors but we'll have to just wait and see let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video